Alright, welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Berlin, and if you like JRPGs, RPGs, fun adventure games, and I don't know, anything random and cool, as well as art and music, then I suggest you subscribe, because that's what we do over here. Otherwise, uh, if you just give a like to this video, that is very helpful. It helps us fight that algorithm. Uh, yeah, and so... Today we are continuing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm gonna do a main scenario. We're about to get a chocobo, actually. Sorry, dog. <laughs> so, let's see. I have to go speak to this person over here. Choco Keep. Hi, sexy! What is up? Uh, I know this person's... Really close. Yeah. Haha. Chocobo time! Finally! <laughs> What the bird issue do you say that I'll need to see your serpent chocobo issuance? I will gladly hand this over to you. Hey Lee! Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment please, I'll be right back with your chocobo. Hi, Viking, you made it! Just in time! <laughs> and here he is! The fellow has been in high spirits the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, you want to give your noble steed a name. Oh no, I haven't thought of a name. <laughs> cool. Oh wait. So, uh, uh hi. Two and twenty. Oh, I know. I think <laughs> yellow burb. Uh, I think the name in uh Final Fantasy Nine was Johnny Corwin. I think that's what it was. So I, I want to do that. I'm sure it's so original. I think it was Johnny Corwin. If not, it will be now. Oh, they won't let me do a capital in the middle. It's just beautiful. That's what we're doing. <laughs> he likes it! Oh, he ran away. Tired it. Cool. Uh, so I take it. Where is he? <laughs> I dare say he likes his name. Here's your very own chocobo whistle. Simply blow into it and your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoned in crowded city areas or monster-infested lairs. Chocobos are stout-hearted creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with your chocobo rider's license as is required by law. And that concludes all the formalities. I wish you and your chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. It's so cute, it's shaped like a chocobo. Oh yeah, the armor. Hee <laughs> hee. Cool. 
Look at those little whistles. That's adorable. Where is it? Cool. Oh, can't use them here. Hooray! That's so exciting! Finally, my dreams have come true. I now officially have my own chocobo. Okay, but now what are we doing? <laughs> oh yeah, I have to go back to that one guy who got distracted by the person dancing on the bridge. Grab this quest. Oh no, I can't. I think it's this way. Scarlet. Such a nice feeling. It's like I'm growing up. Got my my mountain license too. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Private Lin reporting for duty, that's the zell I like to see from an enterprising young serpent. <laughs> he walks so funny. Morning, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Ida, Papalimo, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me you quest in the name of the Scions of Late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs, that curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelves would home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceable bunch, much to the delight of the Elder Seedseer, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is of the same mind, and it is precisely for this reason that the Sylph's relation to the primal Ramu has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the primal might disturb the balance between Gyrdinia and the Sylphic tribes, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry, indeed. <laughs> Do we strike at Ramu, or leave the sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound with Gridania, but to listen only to one who, one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where you scions come in. The sylphs of Little Solace remain untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of a productive parley. En route to Little Solace, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officers stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the sylphs' favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the sylphs. This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The Hawthorne Hut, was it? Why, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Pier should take us straight there. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papalimo. I just have a feeling it's not going to. Nothing's easy.
West Shore Pier. So it's up. Okie dokie. <laughs> Just skip the cutscenes. Who needs a story? It's Final Fantasy. They like really don't pay attention to that stuff. Use my chocobo. Oh, here they are. Easy, yep, but we had to go a lot further than that. Aye, the fairy docked at the base of this hill will carry you across the lake to the east shroud. Once you're ashore, head due east and you should find the Hawthorne hut without much trouble. Awesome. <laughs> Look at this little person. They're so tiny. I have a little, little, a little pirate hat on. It's so cute. So cute. Fisherman. Howdy. Uh. How do I get on the boat? Who do I talk to? What? Do I have to talk to her again? Probably. Or this person. Aha. Oh wait, which way are we going here? To reach the East Shroud. Uh, so I think it's... Top one. Right? What is this considered? No, what? Whatever's down here, right? I think it's that one. Aha! Yes, in the East Rock. Perfect. <laughs> So pretty. Uh, it's just so colorful. All the flowers. Wow, this is really neat. I want to live here. Faster, Koopo, faster! Is it making these people run? Oh. They have a little Aerith. <laughs> so nice. And the area all around it is so nice, too. Join this. Oh, you're right. I have a mount. Ha! -ha! <laughs> I'm so used to not mounting.
trying to see where, which direction we're heading in. Okay. Whoop whoop. Is that the chocobo? Jumps. Yes, it is. How do I get up here? I know it's so pretty, isn't it? That's what I said, Sean. They're like, I want to live here. They already have this. Yeah. Is this snow? What's the hell? I don't think. Uh -huh. Let's not stand inside of the person that we're talking to. Oh look, they were doing the same quest. Indeed, I am Emily Lane of the Twin Adder. I understand you're here to learn of the Sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are, they are a wary lot, particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. Earn their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all, no? Would you know more, you'd do well to speak with the master of this hut, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the sylphs than I'll ever know. <laughs> cool. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Rolf. Hello. Come to learn a thing or two about the sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing. They're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, and just let me tell you. They're... Oh gosh, I skipped it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're... Separate, but... At the same time. It's interesting. Parallel universes is a good way to describe it. Alright, I try not to skip this person. The Sylphs, yes, Father's told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most captivating is how their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. Teehee. Oh, <laughs> chocobo scratches. Hearing the tales that Rolf in the visiting adventure style, I can't help wondering if I picked the right path in my life. It's just once I'd be... It'd be grand to sail the seas on a proud galley and spy the towers of a distant city glowing golden in the rays of the morning sun. Well, a man can dream, Candy. Yeah, Victor, you, you got this. Go do it. <laughs> oh, this guy is wanting something else. I'm gonna go talk to these people for this quest first. Base hat and. Who? I don't know. There's so many references in these games, especially this one because it's been around so long. The Sylphs, inveterate tricksters and troublemakers, that's what they are. Well, that's a big old griffin. <laughs> One day they're drawing more ball faces on our masks. The next Thursday are young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop and they just laugh at you. 
Rolf claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. Oh. Just laughing as they send people to their death. That's, you know, it's a funny joke. Haha. <laughs> Blaze it. The quickest way to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a self. They sustain themselves by bathing in the sun, or so Rolf once told me. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh, of course, of course. Hearing your stories, well, my stories, has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel... I feel like dancing. <laughs> yeah, how'd you, how'd you guess? <laughs> yes, nothing brings people together quite like a little toe-tapping. A sylph told me long ago that dancing is a time-honored greeting among their kind. You do well to remember this. It just may win the favor of our forest friends. <laughs> Ranch dressing. Gross. Alright, so they like to dance. Oh, still here? Great. There's one more thing you should know about the selfs. They don't take kindly to guess who show up empty-handed. To earn their trust, you do well to bring along a... Uh, uh, trap. What was it again? Uh, my wife Rosa and I were just speaking of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rosa at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than mine own. <laughs> Wowza! Where's the coat? Oh, back the way we came from. Oops. <laughs> you can dance if you want to. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> uh, this is where it's at, eh? Yes, there she is. The beekeeping huts. <laughs> Peace offering for the sylphs. Were it anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey, but I fear that wouldn't get you past their front doorstep, dear. No, their tastes run more to the unusual. Are you perchance familiar with milk root? That's what we call the root of that most fiendish seed kid, the Ochu. When chewed, it exudes a cloudy liquid that's said to induce curious visions in the imbibery. You not catch me dead trying this stuff, but the sylphs seem to enjoy it to no end. encounter a suspicious clump of grass the other day. Were you, were you to stimulate it somehow, with some of this amber syrup, for example, you might be surprised at what comes out. Good luck. <laughs> so they like to get a little loopy, you might say. Right over here. Oh, big tree.
coming for me, but they are just walking around. Of course I'm poisoned. Back to Rolf! <laughs> I'm very curious as to what these little sylphs look like. Got a lot of work to get them to impress them, I guess. Oh. I just rode his my chocobo into his house. This is okay? Ah, you're back. Was my wife able to direct you to a suitable offer? This is what she told me to get. Milk root. But of course, those sylphs squaff that cloudy stuff as quick as I do a flag and a bean. <sighs> the effect's just about the same as well. Any road, a gift of milk root will have the sylphs calling you friend and sister the moment they lay eyes on it. Now, let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. <laughs> Gift wrapped it. I've taken the liberty of wrapping your milk root well and good. This should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from that god's awful stench. Excuse me. The sylphs love that stuff, but I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. I dare say they reek even rivals the breath... <laughs> they dare say the reek even rivals the breath of the morbol that put an end to my adventuring days. But I could tell you that story another time. You're of more important matters to attend to today, yes? The sylphs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know their kind at heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend, and do stop by on your return. There's a flagon of full flower mead with your name on it if you'd regale me with your adventuring tales. <laughs> ah, before I forget, don't go traipsing off just yet. Emmeline here would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass along my regards to the winged ones. The weird, weird ones. It's good to see your knowledge of Celtic culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at Little Solace, seek out a young sylph by the name of Kulixio. He has served as an intermediary between our peoples on many an occasion and has the close ear of his tribe's elder. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that Belladorus <laughs> root the sylph so adore. Belladorus? Belladorus? I don't know that word. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver. A missive from the elder seed seer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy. That would be you. And restates re Gerdania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. The war with the Ixal has taken a toll on our resources. We can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress upon you any further the importance of this mission. May the Twelve see you return with good tidings. Alright. Kumuxio at Little Solace. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. They are a mysterious creature. Mysterious bunch, I suppose. Just running up the building. Cause I can't close that. <laughs> I like to keep people guessing, I guess. <laughs> oh. A little white tiger. Oh, they ran. What the heck? Oh. Don't tell me. It's a polar bear. I love him. So funny. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, the music. Huh. Yeah, definitely a little out of place. That's interesting, though. I've heard of sylphs before, but I can't remember much about them. <laughs> Just zipped away. Uh, let's see. <gasps> oh! He's just falling asleep. They're like little leaf fairies. <gasps> Interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh. Of course, Castlevania. No, I wouldn't expect them in Castlevania. But this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. That's right. They're gonna, they're gonna dance for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking one would talk to this one. This one does not talk to rude ones. Walking one comes to the abode of these ones. Walking one should pay proper respects. Oh, well, I tried to dance, but I ended up targeting that guy behind me. Rude. Okay, now we're better. This one would welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with quick tongue. <laughs> They're like little plant aliens. And they just speak in like riddles. Walking one would bring gift to this one. Walking one is most kind. I have that for you. And this. Merry Christmas. Aww, so cute. Oh yeah, they are kind of shaped that way. <laughs> Walking one brings milk root. Milk root fills this one with great joy. This one gives thanks. Gives many, many thanks. Walking one carries message for elder one. This one will deliver the message to Elder One. Walking one should not worry. <laughs> I like their eyes, their alien eyes. Yes, <laughs> Jar Jar Binks. 
Hello there, we're envoys from Gridania, and we're here to treat with your people. Aye, we come to pay our respects to your elder and to learn from him more of your Lord Rolu. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gridania? Walking one became a dancing one and brought milk root, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. <laughs> this one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. G go home, you say? But the sylphs of little solace have always welcomed Gridanian envoys with open wings. The letter carried by Burr here is an oath of peace penned by the Elder Seed Seer herself. Still, you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of walking ones. Elder one has no words for Gridania. Walking ones waste everyone's time. <laughs> well, I never. Turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Burr's jig insufficiently jiggy? <laughs> Character's just like, what? <laughs> I'm as baffled as you, but something tells me recent events have our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. I thought my jig was quite jiggy, but, you know, apparently these little guys are very picky. So, now I have to ask around. Say, Burr, are you in the mood for dancing? That's right, dancing! We went through all that trouble to learn the Sylph's traditional greeting, but you've greeted hardly any of them. Why, if I were a Sylph, I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventurer expressing an interest in my culture. Me? Of course I'd be happy to join. Ow! Ow! There goes those bloody leg cramps of mine acting up again. Jeez. How rude. Whoa, what was that? Something big and terrifying. Somebody was riding. Fine, let's just dance the night away. Oh, if I could uh, type correctly, that would be good. Dancing, dancing. <laughs> This one is weaving cloth. Walking ones should know more. This one does not trust walking ones who do not show respect. Ah, so I guess my dance didn't work. Okay, now we'll dance. I guess I should talk to them first. Walking one would be a friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed, but this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. Well. <laughs> fine, whatever. I don't want to know your secrets anyway. I just want to dance for you. <laughs> walking one's belly is rumbling. This one is not making a meal. This one is boiling bark and flower seeds to dye thread. Color must be jolly, and so must great making. <laughs> you can see every like the other people are dancing too. It's funny. It comes up in the chat. Ooh, Aki one knows jolly dance. Jolly dance fills this one with good cheer. Let these two be friends. Woohoo! All right, one more. Come now. Where is this last one? Is it up? Oh. I'm gonna be able to see it from here if it's not up here. I like their little houses, they're so cute.
Uh-huh. Here we are. No fall damage. That doesn't exist. What does Walking One want with this one? Elder One warned this one not to get too friendly with Walking Ones. Don't listen to that Elder. They don't know nothing. I know how to dance. <laughs> Dyslexia, please. <laughs> Enjoy my dance. Ah, Walking One is a friend to these ones. Friendly like Gracious Elder of one of Forest City. Whoa. <laughs> knows how to dance into these ones' hearts. I know that place. Yay, we danced for everyone. Now we should be friends with everyone. <laughs> Dancing with three is definitely enough to win over the entire city, I'm sure. Bert, would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of those, all of Little Solace. The better news? Why, I've thoroughly recovered those accursed like cramps. Onward to our next adventure. <laughs> oh no. I failed dyslexia by dancing instead of prancing. Bert. As an adventurer, you're no stranger to helping distressed folk, I'd wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero or knight. No doubt you see what I'm getting at. The sylphs who make their home in Little Solace do so having been driven from their woodland home. Surely they have their fair share of troubles. Seek out troubled sylphs and see what might be done to ease their worries. A sound plan, would you not say? That said, the sylphs are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You would be better off inquiring with Hearer Imedia of the Agridanians who reside here. She is most like to be privy to the sylphs' troubles. Oh. Well, this one has a thing on its head, so maybe... Huh. Walking one may dance many dances, but this one still doesn't like walking once. Why? Because walking ones don't listen. That's why. Um, uh, okay, that is fair. I'll give it that. <laughs> if walking one wants to be friends with this one, walking one should listen and listen good. This one has itchy spot on back. Walking one should poke it. Oh. Um, okay. I can do that. Uh... <laughs> Tee hee! Walking one fell into trap. Touching this one turns walking one's skin into moss. Tee hee! Mossy one's skin turns greener and greener. Mossy one should examine itself to see how silly mossy one has become. What? Does it examine? <laughs> He tweaked me. I wonder if I needed to do it to that thing. Kind walking ones. Listening ones and vast ones. Protect these ones. Protect little solace from nasty ones who would steal these ones' homes. Walking ones are kind and strong. But these ones cannot rely on walking ones alone. <laughs> <laughs> No, all ones must work together. That one day these ones may return home. Hee hee hee, walking one is so silly. There is no curse, silly one. Now she tricked me twice. <laughs> this one tricked Silly One good, yes? This one is smart. Silly One should congratulate this one for being so very smart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, sure. Okay. Congratulations. Oh. 
congratulate. <laughs> That's right, silly one. This one is very, very smart one. Silly one is smart to know this. Silly one makes this one laugh. This one likes to laugh. Maybe silly one is not so bad after all. <laughs> so funny. It's very funny. Very cute. <laughs> Got some uh, gloves out of that, so that's cool. That was really cute, kind of fun. I like when you have to do the different emotes. There's so many quests, it's really easy, I would think, to forget some of them. But there are some really, really cute quests. These ones need help. Please help these ones. Vile ones called Buzzing Dejigas. <laughs> think these ones are food. Attack these ones. Attack whenever these ones go into the forest to bathe in sunlight. Some of these ones have gone into the forest. Into the forest to lure out vile ones. This one wants walking one to wait for vile ones. Wait nearby and slay vile ones that come. <sighs> it doesn't end. Uh, so we have to... How do I not know? Like, what if this is a trick and it's just trying to, like, get me in trouble? Like, I don't know. Can we trust that one? <laughs> Okay, we do have to consult with this person, so let's consult with her real quick. I know, right? It's just so untrustworthy. Like, I don't think we should kill them. <gasps> oh no! Kill the cabbage! No! Yeah, I don't know. These things seem... There's something not right beneath their cute alien eyes. Praise be to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. The sylphs of little solace are sorely in need of aid. Pray hear me out. My girl's like, uh, this one over there just like tricked me three times in a row. <laughs> Being a temporary settlement, little solace was for amenities, not least. <laughs> stout set of defenses. Consequently, beasts from realms surround are free to wander in and terrorize a hapless residence. The Zizgorlins and Galna gnats that roam these parts are especially troublesome. But slaying one of each should serve as a warning to the rest. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, they're like drugged up and they uh, like to lie. <laughs> um, they're very manipulative. I don't know. These, there's something fishy about these little alien things. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie bushes as brushes as well. They play an important role in Celtic culture. I do not claim to know the details. And what with such feral beasts prowling the forest, they are not easily come by. When you are done with the deed, seek out Kuluxia. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. My own experience speaks to this. I have to fight all these things and get brownie brush brushes. Uh, let's talk to this one. They're fun to talk to though, because they're so bizarre. Avexia the self would be an adventurer's assistant. Oh, walking one, please listen. This one was frolic frolicking in the forest, as this one likes to do, when nasty tusked ones came huffing and puffing and charging. This one was so frightened. This one is too scared to go back to the forest. Walking one can make tusked ones go away, yes? This one would dance for joy. Tusked ones hide in bushes. Walking ones should be careful. <laughs> Just kill all the things. 
kill them all. Only us can be in the forest. Us little cabbages. Is that all the quests? All the little questies. I guess so. So uh, there's one of the things I need to kill. <laughs> They're so bizarre. I don't know if you'd want to eat a salad made out of them, though, because... All that stuff that they consume. The milk, this whole... Milk root, whatever it is. Is this brownies? Why is it called a brownie brush? Oh, it's like a mushroom. Milk of the poppy. Indeed. Hey. What's closer do I need to get? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Man. <laughs> Baby, Scottish prince. That could be it. That could be why it gave me that. I just think of brownies like a wonderful fudgy dessert. <laughs> There's a special magic brownies. What this? Ah. The jigger. Oh, are they? That's cute. Coming to lure us away. Looks like a goblin acts like a satyr. Alright. Sounds like an interesting species. This is making me want to go, like, look up mythical creatures. That's what I'm doing with the rest of my evening. Just gonna hang out on Wikipedia. Kelpies are like, uh, horse mermaids, right? Oh, old school D and D. That makes sense. You get some really, you can, I yeah, D and D. Like they have all sorts of creatures in that. Give you an education. Put the mythical while you're having fun. I've always wanted to play D and D. <laughs> Just catch it up on chat. Kelpies. <laughs> kobolds. We have kobolds in here. Oh, uh oh. Well, that was rude. Did I say you could come to hit me? No. No, I did not. Oh. I am a bit sad. <laughs> it just comes with the territory. Ah. Yeah, I thought they were like horses, mermaid horses. I'll have to... I know we have a little comic book store right down the street. I... I've seen them with, like, card games going out of the back. I've got to check out what else they do there. I haven't been in in a while. Because I've been saving up money. Well, I haven't really saved much. But I've been trying not to spend what I have. <laughs> I should say. Oh no, Canute! <laughs> I 
That's not good. These ones must bathe in sunlight to survive. Without sunlight, these ones will fall ill. Fall ill and shrivel away to no ones. Thanks to Walking Wood, these ones can safely bathe in sunlight. Praise be to Walking Wood. I believe the tags to this video has uh, my PlayStation uh, gamer tag. I forget what you'd call that. <laughs> but yeah, it's in the tags of the video. Thanks to Walking Wood, these ones can safely bathe in sunlight again. Praise be to Walking Wood. Oh, my thumbs. <laughs> I was wondering if that was you. Yeah, if you can't find it, then I'll send it in the Discord. Is my video still frozen? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was like, wait, it looks like it's moving on my phone. Oh. <laughs> Your phone was burnt? Okay, so we have to slay a gal net and get two more brownie brushes. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, sexy. Don't on my phone, and then I her. <laughs> Ugh, that's so sad, Thons. Sorry about that. I've lost a laptop to a power surge before. Let's see. Where... Ugh. No, that's a person. There we go. It was very close. We're very far away. Poor kind plate. Of Gotta get the wild boars of Tusk Hog for that one. Where are the other ones? Up there. Okie dokie. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely a way to lose a laptop from... <laughs> oh no. Hey. Oh, I wanted to kill that ant. Rude. Oh. Because I've gotten a fate. But I need those. Let me in so I can kill this thing. Oh, maybe that's not the right one anyway. Is it? Oh, those are the giant bats. Well, now I don't want to be at this fate. <laughs> I do. Uh, I haven't downloaded the PlayStation app on my phone yet. But yeah. Yeah, you have to press the PlayStation button. That's why I have to kind of like channel through things. Have to just keep hitting the, the big button in the center. It's a little bit annoying. 
Why do I need the PlayStation app? I didn't know if it was really necessary. Oh, <laughs> well, I have PlayStation, like, my PlayStation Network and stuff. That's synced. I don't really get a lot of trophies. I don't, I'm sure that surprises you, because, you know. <laughs> but... I'll look into it, though. I'll download it. Ah, a suspicious thicket. This is what I was looking for. Huh. Well, that makes sense. These guys are kind of cool looking. Big ugly pigs. Weevil. Now I have to find a Tusk Hog. No, games are not cheap on the PS5 here either. <laughs> they, I'm surprised by some of, like, even the older ones are still super expensive. It's crazy. Brownie! I need a gall net. <laughs> I wish brownies grew on bushes. They're like Willy Wonka. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, look at their chocobo armor. How pretty. Oh, so cute. Oh, yeah. Class quests will be next. <laughs> A food brownie or creature brownie. to check it out. Let's see what's up. Where? Okay, well there's something up there. What's, what is that? Oh yeah, no way. It wouldn't be really fun because uh it would be just uh, two hours, three hours of me not even getting past the first fight. <laughs> It'd be not good. So we gotta go down there. Okay. Oh yeah, I have a joke about it. <laughs> wow, so much faster. Yeah, I bet. If I were better at games, I would give it a shot, but... It just wouldn't be worth it to buy it and not be able to play it. <laughs> um, well, I am open to suggestions. Uh... I'm not very good at stealth, but I would give Metal Gear a try. 
And yeah, I've never even played um, Castlevania, so I would be down. But definitely make sure to put these suggestions. I'm meaning to put a channel on uh, the Discord for suggestions, but I keep forgetting. Uh, but I will. And then if you guys have any suggestions for games or like video ideas or whatever, then you can throw them on the Discord. And it, it will be good because I get notifications there. Um, but yeah, definitely. Because I was actually just thinking about that today. Like, I need some suggestions for the next game we play. <laughs> okay, we'll take suggestions and then I'll put a poll up and we'll see. Guys, I'm down. I want to play games that you're interested in seeing, too. Because, you know, what's the point if uh, I'm the only one enjoying what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I thought of that, too. <laughs> only winter coats. Here's the gal nuts. Oh yeah, I uh, figured this will be a while, but I was starting to think of other ideas just for like the next thing to play. I know this one's got a lot of story, even just for the how far I could get with the free one. Oh my goodness, get out of here. I'm done with you. I am ending my life with you, bugs. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Okay, is that the end? Look at that. It's a big ugly creature. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's awesome that they did that. You haven't played this one. <laughs> I forget the story to FF12. I mean, I would definitely play it. I want to play it again. I like the, uh... The, the world is very similar. It's like this same vein. Might be a little more steampunky, I think, if I remember. But I liked it, because I liked Tactics, and it was in the same world as Tactics, so that was cool. Oh, yeah. You didn't like the gameplay? I got two. Oh my goodness, I ran the wrong way. I've never played Diablo, or the old ones. Played Diablo 3, I think. But I know that they're very popular. A lot of friends who've played Diablo. There was a kid I used to go to Sunday school with who was, like, obsessed with Diablo 2, I think. <laughs> or maybe it was the first one. I don't know. He'd always talk about the cow level. Good old Sunday school. <laughs> Build it. I'm gonna take a week. Yeah, he would always talk about the cow level. <laughs> I'd just be like, okay. <laughs> Dante, what is brownies? 
So how about that? Huh? Dancing Bud brings brownie brush brushes for this one? This one can dye thread once more. This one is clean. <laughs> Dancing One kills mighty buzzy ones. This one hates, hates, hates mighty buzzy ones. Dancing One is kind. Too kind. Many walking ones come to these ones abode, but few are friendly like Dancing One. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust Dancing One after all. That's right, you better like me. Oh, okay. Ah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> That's funny, though, that they did that. I love when developers do that. This one is dancing one for forgiveness. These ones have many troubles since walking ones last came to our abode. This one must be careful, always careful. But Dancing One is not like other walking ones. This one can trust Dancing One. This one would ask Dancing One for help. Strange walking ones with bodies of steel come to the home of these ones. This one thinks steel ones come from Empire. Where Empire goes, many living ones become dead ones. Trees fall and bushes burn. These ones' home is in danger. Danger! <laughs> Yes, not all walking ones. This one thanks of dancing one to help this one no more. Dancing one is friends with these ones and walking ones, yes? Dancing one must speak to these ones here at walking ones in hut house and find out more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears steel ones are after something, but this one should speak no more. Go dancing one. This one depends on kindness of dancing one. Flans. <laughs> There's no, I don't think we've seen any flaws yet. I'm trying to think if we saw cactuars. I saw something that looks like a ball burrow, but it's not. But it's also a big planty guy with vines. It's an ugly Bulbasaur. Uh, let's see. It's talking about metal. It's probably the death of uh, the Darth Vader <laughs> people. <laughs> Bad. Not Marlboro. Marlboro. <laughs> Still just as smoggy and stinky, though. Strange steel walking ones? Yes, this one has seen. Steel walking ones carry big boxes. Maybe walking ones hunt for shiny treasure? This one likes treasure. Huh. Yeah, I can't remember if I've seen the cactuar or not. I've seen so many and so many different Final Fantasies. They all start blending together. You see one cactuar, you see them all. <laughs> okay, I've got to investigate. Well, I still need to slay a tusk hog, wherever that would be. And that's presence of the enemy. Okay, we'll go this way. Poor kind plate. Let's go do that real fast. And then we'll go with the presents. Ugh, can't get up there. I like music here. Sure are a lot of these Ziz Gorlin. Right past me. 
He's certain he was gonna attack me. Please move, sir. I need to inspect this. You're so weird looking. Biggie, he's, so, he's kind of cute. Oh. No, this weevil. Could have stayed alive if you just minded your own darn business. But no, 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 no. Had to be nosy. Just had to get in the way. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I refuse. Yeah, that's right. Big chicken. Go okay. Lucky when his made tusk ones go away. This one can play in the forest again. This one thinks walking one. This one is forever and ever walking one's friend. Don't know how I feel. Don't don't know if I trust that. I think they'll throw me under the bus real fast. Helpful one has returned. This one is trouble. When this one ran away from nasty tusk twins, this one dropped three spindles of thread. This one searched for Emily Place over and over, but nothing was found. Oh, what was this one? Helpful one will help, yes? Eh. <laughs> sure, I'll find him. Let's see. Go check this place out. Presence of the enemy. What is a suspicious presence? Shush, shush, this one says. Steel walking ones are scary like touched ones. This one hates scary and scary ones have scary friends. Nope. <laughs> scary ones have scary friends. No birds of a feather flock together. This place is dreary. Whoa, level 40. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to go. I was gonna go back to the Hawth Hawthorne hut for that one. Good thing I checked instead of just running on in there. They're a little, uh, a little high level for me. It would be a little tough, I think. Like that, it's just called a boring weevil. It's not exciting. <laughs> Same. Yeah. 
Many clad in strange armor. Why? Now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. Never assume things, especially about strange people in armor. Like, what the heck? Ah, I shan't get a wink of sleep until I find out who it was. Hear my tale, adventurer. Last night, upon returning from my patrol, I caught sight of a child playing atop the roof. Fearing for the little one's safety, I called out, but the child promptly vanished. Now, we haven't received word of any missing children, but if there were even a chance, were it not for my duties here, I would be out searching now. Might I trouble you to climb to the roof and investigate in my stead? Uh, that roof. <laughs> Exploding. Oh, these houses, these little huts have uh, fires coming out of them, I think. The horde. Oh, is this what's exploding? The little frog. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was, that was awkward. <laughs> How do I get to this roof? You never know what could be exploding here, Sean. Just, we just go with the flow. <laughs> Fearsome types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. Wow. Well, I've learned so much information from everyone. Okay, but I need to scour this roof because now I'm curious about disappearing children. Uh, can I get up? Or something. Aha! Oh. Young leaf. Ah, uh, young leaf. I think that's it. Look, there's all these leaves here. See, it sounds like the cabbages. Looks like the cabbages were up here. He was to eat the kid. A small kid. Which looks like a leaf. Oh, I need one more. <gasps> there it is. Alright. Looks like they were kidnapped by a cabbage. Ah, you have returned. Tell me all that you have learned. Who hmm. found this cane atop the roof? You say this far too tis far too small for our use. I'd wager it belongs to one of the sylphs of Little Solace, the settlement to the east. Well, I suppose that solves the mystery. It would seem that the child I saw was in fact a sylph, and I was so worried. At any rate, we should return to the, ca the cane to its rightful owner. Please take it to a self named Delexia in Little Solace. She will know what to do with it. And while you are there, tell her in no uncertain terms that her people should not wander the forest at night. <laughs> I'm sure that'll go over well. They love being told what to do. Explosions. Probably somebody making something. Like a craft thing. Like a, somebody crafting something. That's my guess. Yeah, we have to go back there anyway. Oop. 
<laughs> All the crafty. Dyslexia. Hello. What brings Walking One to the abode of these woods? Well, I found this here. Stick. Walking One brings Cain. This one knows looking under every leaf and flower for Cain. This one's heart is full of joy. Walking One is kind, like seed seeing one. This one likes kind ones. This one will be friend to kind one. Kind one has this one's word. Cool. Goatskin jacket. Whoa. Ooh. Sounds cool. Interesting. I liked my other one better, but... It's all right. <laughs> this one is happy to see Dancing One return. What did Dancing One learn? This one sees. Steal walking ones come from Empire. Carry boxes and go walking deep, deep through trees. As this one thought. Steel walking ones are up to nasty, no good things. This one knows forest well. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one would borrow dancing ones, borrow dancing ones map. This one makes mark right here. This is where steel ones hide. This one knows. Dancing one will go looking for steel ones, yes? Uh... Right there, eh? Sure, why not? <laughs> Nothing clues. Looks like a ooh. Oh, we'll get out of here with your fate nonsense. I'm searching for a clue. Past this. Oh. Anyway, jeez, just looking at some suspicious boxes. Okay, cool. I thought I'd have to travel uh, to other locations as well. That was... That was quite simple. <laughs> I know, right? Everything is a little suspicious. Still don't trust these little green things. What if those guys were the good guys? Dancing one is back. This one breathed sigh of relief. This one was worried. Mm -hmm. Dancing one found something. 
Did someone found paper inside a box? This is a message from Empire? This one can read walking wood symbols. Message paper has names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. But this one does not understand. Food and rocks mentioned all come from home of these woods. How do steel walking ones know how to find them? Is there a sneaky one hiding behind this one's wings? Snooping ones selling secrets to steel walking ones? This one fears for this one's home, but Dancing Wood has helped this one much today. Dancing Wood must promise to always be friends to these ones. Uh, sure. <laughs> Well, I think that is where I'm going to end for today. Uh, this is really very interesting. I like these little... Well, I like how they make me feel uneasy, if that makes sense, these little creatures. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really enjoyed all the chatter today. That was really cool. Don't forget to like if you haven't yet, and subscribe if you are new. And if you want to join our Discord, the link will be in the description of this video. Uh, so yeah, sorry, my dogs are going crazy. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.